everybody it's me megs and i'm here to show you guys my lob my kim kardashian inspired lob i've been really into lobs lately and i just wanted to share so the very first thing that i did do was attempt to braid my hair backward <laughs> my arms are hurting so bad it's so hard to braid your own hair straight back but i would suggest it and i'm going to use a brown colored wig cap because it just looks better on my dark skin when I'm putting on lace wigs. So the wig that I'm going to be wearing is by RPG Show and it is the Kim Kardashian inspired style and it's the lob and it did come with this plastic sleeve which is really nice because it protects the hair in travel or for storage at home. And it did come with two wig caps. These are brown. I noticed that they're starting to change the caps, which I appreciate. That that cap was a little darker, but it, I needed something darker. And it does have an elastic band to, you know, secure your wigs even more. And it does come with this RPG Show wig pamphlet that, you know, lets you know how to care for your wigs and apply them. So I did wash and condition my wig with Aveda Brilliant, is it Brilliant or Brilliant um, products? And I did have to tweeze the hairline because this is a full lace wig. So the one side was quite boxy. I left that alone because that was the side my parting was gonna be on and no one was gonna see it. But I did tweeze the side that you know I could tuck behind my ear. And you know, of course, it's full lace here, and you can part it anywhere. And I did make my parting kind of like a diagonal because I wanted a deep side part for some drama. So, this is lace here, and it does come with combs and adjustable strap. I already adjusted my strap because I was trying the wig on and off when I was tweezing the hairline to make sure it looked pretty natural. So, I did adjust my straps, and there are combs in the back area and also the combs on this wig start quite further back because the front is full lace so what I'm gonna do is since I tweezed my hairline I cut my lace after just to make sure that I have enough lace in the front to mimic you know baby hairs if I want to do that if I want to tuck the hair behind my ear I'm using my favorite flat iron as always my KQC ceramic uh, flat iron by flat iron experts and I tend to flat iron the front half um, where the lace is in the front where the parting is to make sure that it lays pretty flat and this tends to help out a lot with making sure it doesn't look too too puffy at the top so I just put that right over there and just do a couple passes and it doesn't burn the lace some of you might ask like, is it burning the lace no it works really really well and um, I like how this looks as far as flatness at the top so now I'm gonna go ahead and slap this thing on and I did notice that in the parting I don't know what this residue is I don't know if it's glue or something but I did have some residue on the part I don't know what that is uh, so yeah I didn't know what that is <laughs> um, but I absolutely love the way the wig lays and the length of the wig and I love how natural um, the parting, not the parting, but the lace in the front turned out with this tweezing. I will do a tutorial on how I tweezed it. I'm actually getting a little better with tweezing, but, you know, I don't like tweezing the hair. <laughs> I, I don't like it. Uh, but now I'm going to flat iron my hair. I sectioned it off. I'm using my Kira Care Silk and Silk. And um, I'm just going to section off the hair and run the flat iron through to get a sleeker look because that's how the picture looked on the website and I'm using the what is this called the uh was it the pass the follow uh chase method <laughs> there we go to make sure I get no crinkles in my lob because I don't want to bump in the bottom because it's kind of like a blunt cut so I'm just making sure that it gets nice and, you know, neat how I like it. And this hair feels really good. I will say in the past, like, maybe a little over three years ago, RPG Show, their hair did not feel like this. I will say the hair feels so much better than what it has in the past. I feel like they've been, like, paying attention with the quality of hair that they're placing on the wigs. 
so I really appreciate that too so you can see that this hair is you know flat ironing pretty well it's not you know dry or anything it has some really nice natural shine before I put on the silk and seal so yeah so I'm just gonna continue flat ironing and you can see I have kind of like a deep side part I want it to be dramatic <laughs> And I really, really love the way this is laying so far. It's really nice to switch up because sometimes when I'm protective styling, I don't want super long hair. And I feel like this hairstyle will be really appropriate for work. You know, corporate, office, wherever you work, I think it will be appropriate to wear. And I really like the color as well. It's a really nice brown. So now I just, you know, put some hairspray on to make sure that I tamed any flyaways and make sure that the wig, the wig lays a little more flat at the top. Still a little bumpy, but you can just put a, tie a scarf around the wig once you take it off at night and it'll lay even flatter. And I also spray my comb and run the comb through my hair with the hairspray to make sure I got all the flyaways too. So now I'm just going to kind of like conceal the parting with some foundation, my Makeup Forever foundation. As you can see, you, you guys see that like that glue, I don't know if that's glue, it's some kind of flaky residue and that was there even before I flat ironed the top half so I don't know what that is, <laughs> I don't know. But overall I really like uh, this wig, it's so so easy to just wear, I've gotten so many compliments when I wore this out. I love how neat this blunt cut is. They did a really good job with the cut. And I'm just really satisfied with this wig. And I really appreciate that RPG Show has made some big improvements. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask me. And information about this wig is down in the description below. And as always, I'll see you guys later.